on average, we spend six years eating, chomping through 60 tonnes of food, the same weight as an adult sperm whale. Rich, it's in a lifetime, not one sitting. Just one more. No, don't do it to yourself. That's so good. Oh, no. Mm. The reason we enjoy gorging ourselves is because food tastes so nice. And the thing that helps you taste is actually your nose. When you chew food, vapour is released up the back of the nose in a process called retronasal olfaction. Basically, it fools you into thinking you're tasting a flavour when actually you're smelling. And we've set up a little test to demonstrate this point. We're going to get Richard to drink from three beakers containing three different liquids wearing a nose clip. Does my nose look big in this? <laughs> so, what does he think is in beaker one? I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's wet. Anything, anything coming through? M mildly citric, maybe lemon. Beaker two. I would say that's squash, because it's quite a strong flavour. And beaker three? Oh, that's quite sour. Lemon. OK, now take the nose clip off, please, and just quickly taste them in order again. That's cold tea. Orange juicy squash, isn't it? You got that one right. Yeah, yeah. And this one? You guess lemon juice. Uh. <laughs> And it is They're malt really vinegar. Nice. Ah! Now the boys are going to design their own food and subject it to scrutiny from professional food tasters. These people have made a career out of eating. They're paid by food manufacturers to give early feedback before a product is launched. <laughs> and it's their heightened sense of taste that can make or break a new snack. We're going to make our own flavoured crisps using these special powders. What do you fancy? Oh, I don't know. Cola crisp? Possibly. It's not been tried before. We need to revolutionise the flavours of crisps. Brown pickle is my first choice. Check out our seed. With tutti frutti. And that sounds like a classic to me, I tell you. Okie doke. I'm going for aniseed and Mediterranean herbs. Tastes good. With such strong artificial flavours, only tiny amounts are required for explosive results. Mm, I might skip all this. <laughs> mm. But what about Johnny's tutti frutti and pickle flavour? Yeah. <laughs> it's time for the tasting panel to apply their professional taste buds to the boys' crisps. What on earth will they make of the weird flavours? First up is Johnny's horrific sounding tutti frutti and pickled delight. Here we go, the crunch. Do you like it? No. 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 Too much confusion on the flavours. Mm. Not a pleasant flavour. No. Mm. Really? Johnny, did he say it's unpleasant? Yes. How dare he? And now it's Richard's turn to face the panel. Right, here we go. First reactions? I quite like it. Hey. No. I don't believe it. Is it rosemary or something like that? I balanced it, you see. I balanced those herbs. Would you buy it? No. no. <laughs> Sorry, boys. When it came to the crunch, you just didn't have what it takes. 